ushering in a new era at the club. Can she bring fresh ideas? We're about to find out. Stay with us on EA TV. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And you can really sense the anticipation in the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. It's Tenerife, and they take on Real Oviedo. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek, and so are these fans. They fully expect their team to be promoted this season, and I have to say, I can't argue with them. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, it's a back four, a narrow midfield three, and a very disconnected front three. But if the midfield players give good support to the central striker, this 4 3 3 system could work really well today. So a throw in here. And they have possession again. Lucas Aitado. Plenty of options. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. And showing fine vision. Can he do it? Oh, his eyes lit up, thinking it was about to be the opener. Well, just a lack of composure. He should score there. Really showing off his wide range of passing skills. Did well to win the ball back. Well, as a football club, they've restructured significantly. And oh, you... it could be in here, Derek. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1 0 here. So, underway again here. 1 0 the score. Teammates available. And intercepted it. Into the advanced position. Must be. Ball is moving again. 2 0 is how it stands. Chances on. A goal! That's two for him today.
top players on a fitting stage. That's what we're talking about. A match of... Well, it's a delight to be here today, basking in the sunshine at the Municipal de Ipurua Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And we have live Segunda División action coming right up for you. Stuart, what are you expecting? Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. This attack looks highly promising, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Well, for Tenerife, you have to conclude everything went to plan in their win against Espanyol. What do you anticipate seeing this time, Stuart? Well, their victory was... Hang on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. And there it is! The opening goal, the ideal way to start. Then. And he could really get at the opposition. And defensive play to be applauded. Might be a chance here. Superb chance. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Regained possession. Well, good run and good ball control. And it's opening up. Off the post and back in play. Well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. But with only a one-goal lead, they're never going to be able to relax. Could be threatening. Oh, goodness me. Meat and drink for the keeper. Well, you expect him to score from there, but he just got it all wrong, didn't he? But putting in quite the shift to win the ball back. Space afforded him. And it's gone in, just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. But how is he allowed that much time and space? He doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. And in with a real chance. And it's a double for him in this game. No.